Off, you can't be jumping. You're going to a family with kids. That's a no jumping policy. When a shelter dog is in trouble, Brandon makes sure he's the first person to be alerted. And today is no exception. Animal Services notifies him about a stray who is yet to be claimed. And his time is running out. Willie is a small Tibetan terrier mix who was brought into the shelter hungry and afraid. When people see a dog that hasn't been well taken care of, they often overlook them. It's my job to get him better, physically and mentally. There's a lot of work to do to get Willie ready for a new home. But if it can be done, there's a perfect family just waiting for a dog like Willie. The Smythe family lives nearby the Lucky Dog Ranch. Cameron and his wife Lena recently asked Brandon to help find the perfect dog who will fill a special need in their lives. Brandon hopes to bring Willie and the Smythes together. But first, he needs to find out if Willie's right for this family and if this family is right for Willie. Before Willie can begin his training at the ranch, he needs to get cleaned up. The change, it's like night and day. A groomed dog is a happy dog. Next step is to bring him back to the Lucky Dog Ranch to evaluate him. Morning, everyone. Who's that, Willie? Look at this. Say hello. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Look at this. Bruno, Winston, Muffin, buddy, come here. Sit. Stay there. You see that, Willie? You'll be just like them one day. That's my goal. Welcome to the Lucky Dog Ranch. Today, Willie can get settled into the ranch, but tomorrow, the work begins. Say we start him off on a pedestal and get him to jump down into it, and then we'll move to something a little shorter. When you want to teach a dog to jump through a hoop, you don't simply put the hoop up high and say jump through. He'll be confused all day. Get up here. Good boy. Can you jump down in there? Good boy. Baby steps is the key. Good boy. Let him walk through it a few times. Show him the treats on this side. Let him get comfortable with good walking boy. through the hoop. Very good. This is going to be a little more tricky. Go ahead and run him from like six feet back. Ready? Willie, up, up, up. Good boy. Very, very good. You want to baby step it up until the point where he's actually jumping high through the hoop. Let's go right. ahead and kick this out of the way. Willie has the step jump down. Now it's time to make it a little harder. No brick. It's all on you. Come on. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Very good boy. Excellent work. <laughs> now that Willie's figured out when it's OK to jump, Brandon needs to remind him when it's not OK. Oh, no, 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 no. Off, off. You're going to a family with kids. You can't be jumping. When he jumps up at me, I hold his paws and tell him off over and over. He's going to want to pull back and get away, and I'm going to say, nope. Ah, 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 ah. Off, off. I'm just going to hold him there and continue to say off. During this technique, Brandon takes a very careful approach. He makes sure not to hold Willie's paws too high or too long just long enough to make the point. This is reverse psychology, my friend. You jump on me, I just hold you here, and then it becomes annoying to you. Come on, Willie. Controlling Willie's jumping problem is coming along nicely. Very good. It's clear Willie will be a good fit for the Smythe family. Now it's time to find out if the Smythe family will be a good fit for him. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. 